If you're an American like me, you're probably no stranger to conspiracy theories, but the one that I tell you about today might just knock your cleats off. The Super Bowl was planned. Not only is it true, but it goes even deeper than that. It gets political. And we're going to dive right into it by starting way back in 2001. At the start of the year in 2001, it was America business as usual. But when September rolled around, unfortunately, two planes flew into the Twin Towers. How can we make Americans happy after such a tragedy? Super Bowl 36, five months after 9-11, when who other than the Patriots win their first Super Bowl after 42 years of being in the league? Who else than the Patriots to show America what patriotism is all about? Not only did George Bush's approval rating begin to rise directly after this happened, but George Bush got a little bit too excited because the Patriots went on to win three Super Bowls in four years. And I could talk for a while about Tom Brady and the rituals with kissing his son and all that. I could go on for hours about that. 12 years later, a newcomer to the league that appears for his first game in the NFL in 2014, at the same time that Joe Biden was vice president. Not only that, but if you're familiar with the NFL, you know about the Travis Kelsey skin mask controversy, where at his first game, you could tell that he was wearing a mask of somebody else's face. We don't actually know if Travis Kelsey is who he says he is. We don't know if that's his real face or if he's making a deal with the devil. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. Travis Kelsey meets his best friend Jackson Momoa, who ends up being the quarterback for the team he's on. Yeah, I don't want to skip over this. My buddy Todd mocked up uh, this little photo of Travis Kelsey with the uh, lab experiments and everything. People keep saying it's AI. It's not AI, actually. He just he works really well in that style. It's sort of his vibe. He, ma he wants to make it look like AI. Now, we'll talk about this later in the video, but there were also lost documents of Travis Kelsey's. People were wondering about where his origins came from, and nobody really knows. They think it's inside baseball. I mean, I could go on for hours about this, but you'll find out in due time. The year 2023 rolls around. And with it comes some pretty crazy events. One of the biggest musical stars in the world just keeps getting bigger. Now, a lot of people say that this Taylor Swift person of the year 2023 is link back to the CIA documents that were dug up and 428 Taylor Swift's prophecies. You can see the artifacts on the screen is written on the walls. Everybody knows that this was coming if you if your eyes were open, if you if you were listening. Now, Taylor Swift isn't any prime minister or anything, but she did establish a pretty strong political image or stance through feminism, etc. And just earlier that year, she breaks things off with a long-term lover. Her, her boyfriend of like seven years or something. She was... Everyone loved him. It didn't seem like anything was wrong with them. And out of nowhere, they break up. And so people are wondering why. They're thinking. They're listening. I mean, I could go on about this for hours hours at the same time in 2023 joe biden the current president of the united states is gearing up for a re-election and is looking for a battle plan and he would be remiss if he didn't think about one of the and he would be remiss if he didn't think about one of the biggest figures in america right now and how she can play into a big win for him and not only that but taylor swift wins person of the year for the time magazine which is and not only that, but Taylor Swift wins Person of the Year for Time Magazine. It's not often that artists get the Time Person of the Year, but Taylor Swift this year seems to be an exception. And I wonder why. But before we do that, let's go back to Travis Kelsey. Travis continues to grow in the NFL. He continues to be more and more popular of a figure. And people start to ask some questions. There are questions about his brother, Jason Kelsey, and how he, how did Jason have old documents of him playing football, but Travis Kelsey came out of nowhere? Could this have to do with stem cell research that is being done on Jason Kelsey that was used to create Travis? There also was a Chiefs clinch victory where Travis was seen studying glyphs during halftime that were connected to ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. And Travis Kelsey's old tweets were dug up, one of them saying, God damn, Maine, hungry for mean by Taylor Swift, which came out in 2011, the same year as this tweet. Was Travis potentially... Was Taylor... Was Taylor potentially doing a ritual that was affecting these events to happen? We don't fully know, but it is not out of the picture. Could something... Is something in the plans? Well, that might work out all too well. 
because in 2023, Travis Kelsey suddenly decides to go to a Taylor Swift Stadium Eras Tour concert by himself. And he brought a friendship bracelet for Taylor Swift, famously an unattainable star who obviously is not going to go after anyone while she's performing on tour, especially someone who paid to go to the concert, especially someone who is a fan. But an unexpected romance happens because the star's height end suddenly starts dating the star... Uh, the star. And things moved pretty fast, people noticed, and the media immediately picked it up. Everyone was talking about the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey relationship way quicker than anybody else in her life, and it became very public very fast. The Swifties were loving it, they were all over the romance, and it's safe to say that the NFL has Taylor fever. I think we can all say that. The NFL has Taylor's fever. Say it with me. The NFL has Taylor fever. Yeah! Now we catch up. Now we catch up to later in the year, and I can say confidently that football is back. NFL took a risk and branched out to a new demographic that came with Taylor Swift, those young, impressionable music lovers. And the Chiefs are having a hell of a season. They're having a hell of a season. And Taylor Swift begins going to these football games, and it becomes more and more popular online. Everyone's talking about how Taylor Swift is at the games. Everyone's complaining that the cameras keep panning to Taylor Swift. There were even tweets saying that the Gillette Stadium is 90% Swifties now, and they're clapping for Travis when he hatches a warm-up pass. What? Taylor Swift also said Karma is the guy in the Chiefs. That's funny. I don't know. And Travis goes from a football star to a star. What? The Chiefs immediately go from being nobodies. No one gives a shit about them. No one, they're not good. No one, they have no chance at anything. And then suddenly they have a possible chance at going to the Super Bowl. Taylor shouts out Travis at one of her shows. Karma's a guy who's on the Chiefs. Yeah, whatever. And the NFL ratings skyrocket. They're better than ever. Everybody was feeling a little bored by the plot, but people were starting to get excited. Football was back for Americans. Wait, did I already talk about how Taylor Swift's time person of the year? Ugh, yeah, it was a horse historical nomination. Usually politicians win, but she won this time. I wonder why. And then this happened. Bring it in. Bring it in. Ah, you thought you weren't going to see that. Yes, in December of 2023, Travis Kelsey is in a Pfizer commercial. And it is announced that he made a $20 million deal with Pfizer. Hello? Hello? Knock, 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 knock. People are not happy. I mean, football fans out of anyone. And who else may be behind it than Brandon himself? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Not only that, but then this happened. Grammys. Last week. 2023. It's the year of Taylor, of course. Everything's about Taylor. Everything, everything. She's winning all the awards. She's laughing. She's putting her awards on people's heads for some reason and killer mike is immediately arrested after winning the hip-hop grammy album of the year and taylor didn't get the nomination or the win and suddenly killer mike is gone right after he wins the award just for taylor to go up there and announce that she is coming out with an album this year after winning like 9,000 awards and this all happens one week before the biggest sporting event of the year in this country. And then this happens. That's right. The Chiefs win the Super Bowl in a historically close matchup that basically came down to a couple referee calls. Taylor Swift and Ice Spice watched over the game as the camera panned to them a bajillion times and everyone knew they were there. Everyone was there to see the Super Bowl. This was the biggest Super Bowl ever, probably. Who really knows? But at the end of the game, as you can see, Taylor Swift goes up to Travis Kelsey, gives him a big smack of on the lips, and she whispers something into his ear. And the NFL caught that audio. Bravo 5. I repeat, Bravo 5. Colombo 42. Now this leaked audio from Taylor is suspicious. Everyone's wondering, what did she say to Travis Kelsey? What could it possibly be about? Is there a motive? Is there a calling card? There's something nefarious happening here. Everyone's sitting here pretending like nothing is going on. And it's very clear that there is something deeper at play. But let's back it up. Let's go earlier in the game to when 
In the first half, Travis Kelsey gets into a bit of a controversy after yelling and accidentally shoving his head coach. Comes over to Andy, he goes, keep me in. What happened is, on the fumble, he was not in the game. Now, I don't know if you saw that right there, but Travis Kelsey was saying something to the coach. And the commentators may have made a smart decision to just tell everybody in the audience that Travis was just saying, keep me in the game, keep me in the game. Because, of course, that makes sense. But why would Travis Kelsey be that angry in the first half of the game when the tensions haven't even risen yet and he knows that a bajillion people are watching him? It would have to be something even more important than that for him to be screaming at the coach. Travis wanted something from Andy Reid. A lot of people are talking about an ancient relic that has been worn by Andy Reid decades into the past, and it might be the clue we're looking for. It might be the answer to why the Super Bowl is planned and rigged. Does Travis want this ancient relic from Andy Reid? Is that what he's asking him about in the game? And who does he want to give the eternal amulet to? That's the question that's on my mind. Well, that's where Brandon comes in. After the Chiefs won the game, something suspicious happened. Joe Biden, after lots of rumors of the Super Bowl being planned and scripted, and after lots of evidence almost fully exposing the NFL for working with the government, Joe Biden gets ahead of the rumors and posts this tweet as a joke saying, just like we drew it up with a photo of Dark Brandon. If you don't know the Dark Brandon meme, it is a political meme about this radical Joe Biden thing that he's leaned into. And he's basically making a joke like, oh yeah, we planned the Super Bowl just like we planned the whole time. I think it might go a little bit deeper than that. I think Joe Biden was putting this tweet out there to put it right in front of everyone's faces so no one would really guess it. Joe Biden puts out the tweet. He says, just like we grew it up, the tweet goes viral. It's multiplied by the Travis Kelsey Pfizer partnership that was created earlier that year, multiplied by Taylor Swift winning the Grammy a week before the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey becomes the star of that game, kisses Taylor Swift at the end of the game. She whispers something in his ear. It's connected to the amulet. It's all out in the open. And now we are sitting here in 2024, months left into the election, after this massive, possibly orchestrated Super Bowl match that contains figures that are directly tied to Joe Biden and his agenda. Let's look at the bigger picture here. George Bush, 9-11, brings in the Patriots for American morale. Joe Biden, COVID-19, brings in Travis and the Chiefs for morale, along with Taylor Swift. But is it morale? because that eternal amulet starts to make me think otherwise. People think Joe Biden might be... People think Joe Biden might be a little geriatric, I'll say it. They think he might pass away. And in order for the country not to fall apart at the seams, if he's still gonna run, he needs something to hold him through all four years. But all that we do now is we wait, because there was discourse even before the Super Bowl of Donald Trump saying that Taylor Swift was going to endorse Joe Biden before the Super Bowl. And he said that he was going to be very upset because he made Taylor Swift a lot of money. And he's right. But that obviously doesn't happen because it would be too obvious. Everyone is wondering if the NFL is scripted. Everyone is watching Travis and Taylor in front of the world. They cannot talk about Joe Biden or be connected to him any more than they already have with Pfizer. It is way too obvious right in front of everyone's faces that this is exactly the way that joe biden is going to control the country and use taylor swift and travis kelsey as his pawns to do so it's too obvious or is it seems to be that everyone is in it for their own self-interest their own gain but it is probably a little bit too obvious or is it too obvious no it's not because people aren't thinking yet. They're not listening. And soon enough, you all are going to come back to this video and you're going to go, oh, he told us. He was trying to tell us the whole time. He was trying to tell us. It wasn't obvious at all. Or is it? Thank you everyone for watching my presentation. Um, this is going to be one of very many videos that are going to be on this channel teaching you what you need to know about this country and all the secrets hidden within it. I'm on the inside, and I'm going to tell you guys the truth. So please subscribe. Go, uh, like, I'll make a TikTok. I'm going to make a TikTok today talking about my theory. So let's spread the word. Let's go like my TikTok and go spread the word to everybody. Uh, go comment below in this video also. Sub comment down. And make sure you have a good Valentine's Day um, if you have a partner. And if you don't have a partner, this sucks, man. Too bad, so sad. <laughs>
Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Think about it.